several passages. If you look, for example, at John 8, where he is described to be the I am, nothing could be a greater claim than before Abraham was I am, he says. That is the very word of Yahweh, I am. Before Abraham was, I am. He's already positing his eternal existence. chapter 20, when Thomas comes to him and uh, reaches and touches his side, ho kureos mu, ho theos mu, my Lord and my God. Anyone who tries to argue from the Gospel of John that Jesus is not God has a huge uphill battle to fight. Because John's Gospel starts off with what? In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Wow. John chapter 1. In the beginning was the Word, so here's the Word, and the Word's with God, so here's God, and the Word was God. What just happened? Mind blown. How is the word with God and also God at the same time? Verse 14 says, the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory. Okay, I have to go to the Trinity then. <laughs> I have to go to the Trinity. All right, make sure you have a good definition of the Trinity. Here is the definition of the Trinity. If you write anything down tonight, write this down. God is one in being and three in person. One in being and three in person. Now, that is not a contradiction.
Paul in Philippians chapter 2, verses 6 through 11, says this. Having yourself the same attitude, in your, having your minds the same attitude as that of Christ Jesus, who, although he existed in the form of God, did not consider equality with God a thing to be grasped, but he emptied himself. Paul, now Paul is before Mark's gospel, and as he's writing to the letter of the Philippians, that's even earlier. And he's saying, having yourselves the same attitude as that of Christ, who, although he was God, he was God. of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 44, verse 6, we read, Thus says the Lord, the King of Israel and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first and I am the last, and there is no God besides me. Where did Jesus say, I am God? When I saw him, I fell at his feet like a dead man, and he placed his right hand on me, saying, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last and the living one, and I was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore, and I have the keys of death and of Hades. I am the first and the last. You see, if you're familiar with the book of Revelation, you know that this is Jesus talking to the Apostle John. Jesus calls himself the first and the last. Why would a mere prophet call himself the first and the last? So, to all my Muslim friends who've been told by your apologists that Jesus doesn't claim to be God in the Bible, you need some better apologists. 1 John chapter 5, this is the strongest verse in the Bible that really lays down the Trinity. 1 John chapter 5 verse 13 says this, these things, I'm sorry, verse 7 says, for there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. 